good morning and welcome back to the channel in this week's video i'm going to be vlogging my whole week of training so this is my final big week of training as we lead into ironman portugal now for anyone who doesn't know i'm doing ironman portugal in four weeks time the original plan was to do copenhagen to try and beat the previous copenhagen time and then the idea was to do portugal to try and qualify for kona um, in october 2025 however Copenhagen was a qualifier for both Nice and Kona, so I qualified for Kona. In Copenhagen, which is amazing, and it kind of takes the pressure off of Portugal. I have since realised it is a lot to prep for two, two Ironmans quite close together. I would say maybe like I think eight weeks apart. Maybe like, no, I think about eight weeks apart. It's, it's quite a lot. Physically, I don't think my body really got a chance to fully recover after Copenhagen before sort of getting back into training. So it has been a real case of just trying to manage recovery. Like, I know that Garmin stats aren't everything to go off, but since the race, my HRV has been very much in and out of sort of the orange and red. My training readiness just doesn't seem to be able to get back up because obviously the training volume has just been going back up. I feel fine in myself. Like, I think I was fighting a bit of a cold last week. So I'm getting there, it's fine. It's my final big week, uh, it's Monday morning and we swim. We swim every Monday because we get a swim out the way at the beginning of the week because, you know, most people don't enjoy swimming. So if you can at least get a swim ticked off at the beginning of the week, you know, it's time to take them out for sessions that you maybe don't enjoy quite as much rather than pushing the autumn for the week and then you're left with Friday, Saturday, Sunday with three swims and a hard run and a hard bike to do. Like, it's just not realistic. So get a swim done on a Monday morning, which is what I'm doing. It's an easy aerobic swim off the back of a quite a big week last week. I did about 15 hours of training um, last week, two and a half hour run yesterday. So my body is a bit broken, but it's fine. Come along on a week of training my final big week leading into an Ironman. I'll then have three weeks of just reducing training volume, which I'm very excited for. So yeah, enjoy the video. We're on our way with my mum. She comes swimming with me on a Monday. We're done, the 3K ticked off, nice and easy. Did you enjoy that, mum? I did, I loved it. I always love it when it's finished. When it's finished, exactly. Session number two of the day is a bike ride. I'm I'm still wearing shorts, clinging on to um, summer. I've got a long sleeve on. Um, it's waterproof as well because it's like on and off radio all day, but it looks dry at the moment and I'll get out. If it rains when I'm out, that's a future me problem. But yeah, I'm going to go do an hour, just like a 30 odd K loop. I was going to wait till later and do it on the Concept 2, but I can't think of anything worse than sitting on the Concept 2 for an hour, which is crazy to think because old me used to do all of her training on the indoor trainer. And now, well, when it gets to winter, obviously I'll have to do some on the indoor, but um, now I would prefer to go out than be indoors, which We've come a long way. We've come a long way, so yeah. Let's get out. Enjoy yourself. Oh, she pretty. Can you? I don't know what I'm going to do. No. Have fun. See you. Bye, Hera. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Right, we're out. Um, it's fine out, actually. It's not too cold, which is always nice, and the rain's currently holding off, but the roads are a bit wet, so just taking it easy, spinning the legs off after a big weekend, just enjoying being out. We're so lucky to be right on the border of like the Cheshire countryside, so we're straight out onto country roads, which I'm super grateful for because I know sometimes that's not always the case. So yeah, just loving riding my bike at the moment, which is which is nice. I try and leave the house just before six to get to the pool for quarter past six when it opens so um, i'm actually back at mining gases now so the pool opens earlier which is good because i like just getting it done as early as possible waiting around till seven just is a bit annoying so yeah a bit earlier than yesterday's swim um yeah fun times 3.2k done um i feel really good details of the car and we're done. That wasn't so traumatic after all, hey? It's always so much worse in our minds. Um, 
3.2k done two by 1k was the main set i did 16.38 for the first one 16.36 for the second one so nice and consistent average was 139 for each of them which i'll take i will take for today in a pool being tired here come all the excuses <laughs> me and my final week um big week leading into the iron man obviously in the race i will have my wetsuit on which is a huge help probably not maybe like three or four seconds per 100 off um, and i'll have the help of people around me sort of the drafting effect of people around me so 139 in a pool um you know hopefully we'll transfer over you know all being well with the conditions we'll transfer over nicely into the open water for race day so um so yeah i'm glad that's done like it's so often you build these sessions up in your head and you're like this is gonna be so hard and, and it was it was tough it was mentally really tough today but it's never as bad as you think it, it's fine once you start the first 1k was hard the second 1k was absolutely fine so yeah it's just about starting that is the main thing just starting so anyway that's done so hero and i are just out on a walk and obviously amongst all the training we've got a couple of dogs that need walking so that needs to get done fortunately i have amazing parents who help out a lot with that and also gaz as well and we kind of just take it in turns a little bit and like if i've got a big training day he'll do most of the walking and vice versa so we just kind of make it work and obviously our dogs are a big priority to us so we make sure that they have plenty of walks alongside all the training we're doing a good 10,000 steps a day so um but it's all good fun Right, run done. I'm glad that's done. Um, I just picked up a protein shake because, oh, don't you hate like this on protein shakes because you run the risk of chocolate all going down your front. Um, I got a protein shake because whenever I train around that sort of lunchtime time, I really struggle to have like a proper lunch beforehand because it then just sits in my stomach and I feel so ill. So I just had like a few pieces of toast, a squares bar and some cereal before I ran. And then I feel like my body is craving protein. So anyway, got that. I did four blocks of eight minutes. All, well, first two were at 4.27. Third one was at 4.25. And third was 4.23. I actually felt more comfortable as I got into that session which is a good sign like that shows my endurance um but it all, i always find it feels harder when you first get started i think from a physical standpoint like just getting into it and i think just more so as like a psychological standpoint i'm just like i mentioned maybe yesterday like i just feel i just feel irritable today is how i feel if i'm totally honest i feel irritable and that's obviously just a bit of a sign of fatigue like um, it's not nothing deep i'm just a bit irritable that's the reality of coming to the end of it and i'm prepping as i said yesterday i don't want this video to like become this like negative pity party it, it never is about that it's never about like oh give me sympathy it's just like i guess the reality but you just crack on with your training anyway <laughs> because like what there's no other answer like you either let it the irritable side and the pity party win and then you miss out on your training and then you just shoot yourself in the foot for later down the line so it's kind of like you've got to park that and just crack on just get on with it <laughs> just get on with it this is all like this is all a choice everything i'm doing is all a choice so anyway i'm gonna go in i've got a call in four minutes so i need to go in the house but anyway yeah four by eight minutes um felt more comfortable as it went on so that's good and we're done for the day good morning from me and my pajamas on the sofa this is a very unusual morning for me um, i never get to just like sit on the sofa and have a slow morning um it's 20 past seven i've been up since about quarter to six which like is a lion for me i just my body just wakes up at that time doing a bit of work just been watching a bit of youtube editing this video it's just been a lazy morning and today's training i've just got the gym to go to to do my gym session and i've just got an easy 30 minute run so i thought i'd tie those both together and go this afternoon and give myself just like a treat of having a lazy morning right we are out running 30 minutes nice and easy just on a field so no set paces no heart rates 30 minutes and then i'll go to the gym a bit later for my strength session so what you'll hopefully see from my training across this week sessions coming up is that 
you do, I do a lot of sessions that are maybe like 30 minute run, 45 minute run. I did the hour bike the other day. Um, and these sessions are really important for building overall volume in any sort of prep really, especially in Ironman prep. And so many people think that, you know, the only important sessions are the big sessions at the weekend, you know, the five hour bikes, the three hour runs, but these sessions across the week, they build volume, they build consistency, minimizes risk of injury as well. We don't just do loads of huge sessions, build volume across the week. And they're important because, you know, these are the ones that are easy to miss. You know, like, oh, I'll miss that half hour, I'll miss that one hour, you know, I'll do my big ride at the weekend. And yes, your big ride at the weekend is important, but these sessions that build volume, build time on your feet, build time on the saddle are so important. 30 minute run is done. Average pace was 5.25, average heart rate was 151, which is nice and low for me. Another one ticked off and I'll go to the gym. History box. I'll um, go to the gym later. Is this thing on? Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not focused. There you go. I'm a focus. You are now. We are on our way to the gym. Apparently my strength session looks the same each week because I'm a little weakling and I get doms off like the... Four sports. kilogram goblet squats. Like, a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> I used the 20 kilo actually. Last week I did, I think, two sets of 12 and a set of 10. The week before I did three sets of 10, so you know, I've added... Stronger. I've added some volume there. Stronger together. I might go... No, I'm going to stick at the 20. There's no point in pushing it too much. I'm going to stick no. at the 20 this week. But anyways, yes, yeah, goblet squats. Um... She's been bedridden since the goblets. The goblet. Shut up! Bulgarian split squats. Um, I don't know, but I've also done rest and loads of core work. So... That's the plan. I'm swimming. So what's your Roll session? reversal. Yeah. My session. He's only, he's only swimming because I'm driving him there. I actually was the one who suggested we should go to the gym. Together. Together. Um, I am going to swim. I'm just going to put Paul Boy in and swim. <laughs> she hates it when I do this, but. I don't hate. You can do what you want. She, I don't. What minute this camera goes down, she'll literally. I kick don't. Off, like, care. really bad. I don't care about your Ironman training. Oh my I care God. about mine and my athletes, and that's it. This is what I have to live with. <laughs> What's your goal for Ironman? What's your goal? For Portugal? Yeah. Am I, you're not even like pointing the camera at me. I am, yeah. It's an angle. It's a, um, and probably a really ugly angle, guys. It's not. It it's what most night? people film at in the movies. Is that better? Well, I don't know. You What's your goal? You feel really self-conscious with your filming. What's your goal? Um, uh, goal is mainly to enjoy it because there's no pressure on this race for me because I've already got my Kona qualification. I'd like to get a similar swim time to what I did in Copenhagen. Bike, I want to be better at fueling on the bike and get sub six hours on the bike because it is a hillier course. And the run, I'd like to... Um, Go try sub three. Try and get as close to the runtime in Copenhagen because again, it's like I think it's about three times the elevation of Copenhagen on the run. So if I can get as close, like that'd be good because it's a bit hillier, a bit more rolling. The main thing is to just have a great day because you'll be racing and the family will all be there and yeah, just get round and have a great time. That's What's what yours? Um, so. Sub 14. Oh sh! We're not doing this again. No, I reckon. What What does your goal say? Under, under 11. I'd like to go bridge. under 11 hours. Yeah. I'd like to go under 11 hours, but I mean, realistically, I've not trained for it. Stop it! <laughs> no. This is what's going to happen. I'll come out of the water in about an hour, hour and three. Let's say you'll come out in the water. I think around an hour and 15. 15. Like Maybe Aaron's 20. 17. Um, so we'll have a similar transition. I'll have about 15 minutes on you and you'll come flying past me probably around the maybe like 80, 90k mark, I would say. <clears throat> and I, I, don't think, know. I think I'm gonna be bang on there. And so then we'll be about even timed and then uh, you'll have I'm on a road bike, she's on a TT bike. Yeah, but you're just stronger than me on the bike in general. My road bike is like. Fast. 
budget. Like, I've not had it fitted. I've not had it fitted. Like, it's just... It's definitely not budget though, is it really? No, it's a nice road bike. Um, so then you'll make up another 15 minutes. So I think you'll be 50, get onto the run course about 15 minutes ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll make up a bit of time on the run because just based off of you fueling and cramping. <laughs> so she thinks I'm gonna cramp. <laughs> No, but you do. I will. I you, will cramp. You do. You cramp. I don't think it'll be as severe. This as... will be like a Cat Matthews, Laura Phillip job. Yeah. You're gonna run neck and neck, and no prisoners on that run course, is he? <laughs> if I run past you, I'm just gonna slap a bum and be like, "Come on, come on, love." No, no, because you'll be ahead of me, so it'll be me coming past you. Yeah, no, no I'll be dying. Now, um, but... So. Yeah, just based off of like you said when you used to race back in the day, you always used to cramp. So I'm not saying I've always cramped. I'm not saying your cramp will be as bad as it was in the lakes oh, because you need to finish the race. Because if you don't, then it's a lot of waste of money. Yeah, and you know you'd disappoint everyone. Everyone, my family. They're all coming to watch. Friends. Look at that big big old dog, big old pit bull thing. Um. So you're gonna finish it. 100. percent But um. Yeah, just based off of your cramping knowledge. Fighting for the peace that veterans deserve. I am a veteran and I am trying to find peace and this woman is telling me I'm gonna cramp. <laughs> Can you believe that? I thank him for his service every day. <laughs> I'm just writing out my swim session. It's a swim morning, so I'm just, yeah, just getting ready to go and swim. It's an early one and it's a long swim today. It's about 4k, I think it is. Right, so the session is 600 swim to warm up, then it's 4 by 100 as 25 swim, 50 kick on each side, 25 swim, 600 pull and paddles, 4 by 100 as 25 slow, 25 fast, alternating, and then it's into 4 by 450 as. First one swim, second one pull, third one fins, fourth one pull and paddles, all the 60 seconds in between, each 450 and then a 200 cool down. If my math is correct, I'm pretty sure that's four kilometers. So I'm gonna go and set off now a bit earlier because I need to be in the pool, like as it opens, so I can just get it all done so I can be back in time to, to work. Another early start. We're almost at the weekend. Here we are again. It's a groundhog day. <laughs> Just kidding, I love it. I love it. But yeah, it is quarter to six and we are on our way to the pool <laughs> again. Four kilometres to get done. Let's go. Done. 4K ticked off. I'll put all the stats here. This week I've done maybe like 10 and a half K, maybe. 10, 10 point something so big swim week i'm happy with that and yeah swimming done for the week so yeah just a couple of big rides and big runs left to do stupidly come down the other way down the canal and i'm just jumping over puddles <laughs> for fuck's sake <laughs> anyway i've done 2k don't want to be out <laughs> trying to smile through it um just trying to get it done it's lunch time so get it done and then at least i'm done for the day um that's the update. Hopefully, I'm not cheering when I get 45 minutes done. It's done, it's done, it's done. I'm all. Good morning. It is Friday morning and getting ready to go out and do five hours on the bike. So, but first, I'm just sat on Ticketmaster waiting to get my hopes and dreams shattered. <laughs> waiting for Coldplay tickets. Five hours to do today. I'm going to do. Is this the vlog? It's the vlog. We're waiting for Coldplay tickets, I'm not going. Um, Ticketmaster. I mean, Ticketmaster's your best friend when you get tickets and it's your worst enemy when you don't get tickets, isn't it? Like, it's my is. best friend when I was 200th in the queue for Oasis tickets, but it's not my best friend when I didn't get pre-sale tickets yesterday and that was 29 It can be both your queue. best friend and worst nightmare. Gaz doesn't even know how to use Ticketmaster. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna go do two hours on my own and then I meet my friend Emily to do like two and a bit hours with her. And then by the time I cycled home, hopefully that will equal five hours, which will be good. It'll be good. 
Then you've got to take me to the airport. Then I've got to take Gaz to the airport because he's going to go do High Rocks in Stuttgart. Um, and he's going to win it in his pair, isn't he? My, um, my face looks so huge and round. It's because yours is so little. I've got a small pea head. Look at my pea head even next to you. I can't even look at myself in the camera. Look at yourself in the I'm, camera. I'm miserable. Look at my pea head compared to yours. Stop! No, but I have got a pea head. Yeah. It doesn't help on camera. That I'm sat at the front. But even there. <laughs> my head's ra like, my head's very oval. Okay, let's, you like. no one cares. So, um, anyway, yeah, waiting on these Coldplay tickets. I'm hoping um, Andrew... My brother was 9,000th in the queue, so hopefully he's in and he's got tickets, but we don't know. Anyway, that, I'll update you if we get them, or you'll see me crying and angry on my bike later. Probably stop. I need to get some, go and get some sweets, actually, but just practicing all these Beta Fuel gels. Each of them is 40 grams of carbs. These stir, Stoker? I don't know how to say it. Stoker bars are 50, so 100 and... Uh, 260 grams of carbs there and then I will yeah go and get some sweets that's that's where we're at um why hasn't my brother messaged me to say he's got tickets though like that's oh we've got a message oh. lock off try all options no availability click to try Wembley and it's put me at 200,000 in the queue what's happened um He's not got them. Who has it? Andrew. Well, what are we going to do? Right then, we're out. Two and a bit hours to do, and then I'm meeting Emily. Um, I feel in a bad mood, I'm not going to lie. I know it's because I didn't get the Coldplay tickets. It's not the end of the world. I can get them on a resale site, but it's annoying. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm in a bad mood. Five hours seems like a lot right now, but. Once I've got the first hour or two ticked off at the time. Um, windy. Very windy. Right, I am two hours and twenty minutes into this ride. Pit stop Emily, this yeah. is Emily. I have an issue with my back tyre, it was a bit flat, so I did a pit stop in Nutsford, got them to pump it up. Um, had a little cry because <laughs> I thought I was gonna just sack it all off and go home, but met Emily and we're back out. So Two Hopefully hours. No more tears. No more tears. Hopefully. No more issues. <laughs> about hundred are we about hundred K now? I'm about hundred K in. Yeah, I'm We're about fifty K in ish. I don't know, I'm about um, forty. So we're sort of heading back home now. Hopefully tailwind home because we've been fighting the headwind the whole way. But we've had a great time. Company is always great on your long rides. Oh, we're done. Four and a half hours, we'll call it at that. Not quite the five, but four and a half, tough in the wind, so that's a win. Um, about 127 kilometers. I'll put the stats on the screen. I'm happy with that because I was very close to just sacking it off at um, an hour in, so yeah, it's done. Just out walking, dogs, it's such a nice evening. It's turned into such a good day. I think that it's gonna be nice and dry all weekend, so that's made me happy and I'm in a better mood now. I feel like, again like I, I never want to be like this negative person i'm not a negative person um and i feel like on that ride i came across a bit negative but i just i don't know i was just in one of those moods today and i have been this week and i think it's important to share the realities of like getting to the end of an ironman prep or my second ironman prep in my case and just like yeah the realities of it like i love it and i don't get me wrong like this isn't me being like I hate it because I, I love my training, I love what I'm doing, I'm so excited for the Ironman but it's just those days where you just can't be asked. like you, there's so many other things I would have rather have done than that five hour ride today. It needed to get done, it was either do it today or do it over the weekend and my thought process was I want to just have a bit of time to myself at the weekend. I want to just, I don't know, I want to go do the food shop, I want to go to Dunelm and just have a nosy around because I want to buy a new armchair, like, there's just certain things I want to do over the weekend that you know i'd rather not be doing a five hour ride so i might do the next day but then i was stressed because i've got so much work to do that i'm gonna have to do over the weekend but then i was like on edge that i was missing like messages and things from athletes and it was just yeah just all these things going through my head that i'm it just made me feel really stressed on that ride it's, yeah the reality of it i'm fine and i'm not miserable i love what i'm doing but sometimes i just feel a bit meh, especially when you're tired good morning it's Saturday morning and shock! <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna go do some training. Plan today is move my long run to tomorrow because I don't fancy doing two hours and 45 minutes of running today, if I'm totally honest. So I'm going to just pop out and do 90 minutes, two hours on the bike, nice and easy. Um, just take it nice and chill. It's such a beautiful morning. I am going to take advantage of that and I'm going to get out and just have a nice spin of the legs. Just keeping it chilled. So anyway, so I'm going to get out now and then get back to be back in time to watch the women T100 start. Men are on at the moment, so I've been watching that, which is always motivating. It's always good to... To watch them hi kids it's gonna be a dry weekend so training is always better when the weather isn't shit so yeah i'm in a i'm in a good mood this morning i was starving yesterday after my ride i didn't refuel properly at all so i was up at like half 10 eating toast and cereal one of those things <laughs> we all do it so fueled up this morning i'm ready to go and then yeah get this done nice and early gonna walk the dogs and then have a day on the sofa like a proper rest day Gaz is away, my parents are away, I'm not I've got any plans like for me that's just like a perfect weekend, no plans. So that's the plan. And I'll see you out on the ride. What a beautiful morning, but oh my god, it's cold, my hands are frozen. But anyway, it's beautiful. Oh, good to be out. Ooh. home i am home that was a bit chilly <laughs> um i was fully underprepared for that my hands i've just about got movement back don't you don't you hate it when your hands like turn into sausage fingers after a long ride not a long ride but after a ride and oh my god my hands are so fat <laughs> anyway i'm back done put the stats on the screen 63k it was cold but it was an absolutely beautiful morning it's one of those winter mornings that like the perfect riding morning like or the perfect running morning like cold and crisp and dry and sunny it was perfect i'm really glad i went out i feel good for doing that felt really good great start to the morning i'm just going to finish watching the t100 race the men are just about to finish so the dogs are playing in the garden <laughs> um, so yeah Great morning. Oh my god, not the one that. What? How did that even get on my head? That's a, a gel. <laughs> what the hell? A little gel top. <coughs> Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch this race. Ride done. Solid morning, and I'll get to rest for the rest of the day. Right then, I am getting ready to go and do this run. Um, I'm just gonna fill up these um, bottles. I despise wearing a running vest. I hate it. Anyone who enjoys it is weird. No, I'm joking. But um, I really don't enjoy wearing them. I just feel really, like, restricted, but needs must today. 500 ml, so I have a litre of water on me. I've got some gels, so I just need to pack everything in there. And, yeah, it's one run that I have to wear it. I will... I'll get over it. I'll get through it. It's fine. It's my last training session of the week, and I'm so happy. So happy about that. got some gels. I've also got some sweets here, so I'm just going to put them in a little bag. Even that already, I feel restricted. <laughs> oh my god. I'm such a drama queen, but I did. Oh my god. Maybe it's a sports bra. I'm going to go change my sports bra. I just feel really restricted. I hate running in front of there. I'll get over it. I need to not get that in my head because I'll be stressed my whole way. I'm going to go change my sports bra. Right, panic over. Change my sports bra. Eat the sweet and putting it there. <laughs> Some other sweets in the poo bag because I don't really need sandwich bags. Poo bag the sweets in this back pocket. Go in. I'll see you out there. Right then, we are out. 5k in. I've been just hitting my water bottle sloshing around. That's so annoying. Um, feels like I'm running with a weighted vest on. I don't know what it currently feels. But anyway, that's that. Um, also, funny thing, not funny, like weird. So, running's a weird one. Like, it's just you and your thoughts for, you know, hours, maybe in this case. Same with a bike ride. And I think it's more so because. Gaz is currently away, so it's just me and the dogs at home. And like, when I was out on my bike yesterday, I convinced myself that, because I'd made some posts before I left in the grill, and I convinced myself that I'd left the grill on. So this like, 
awful catastrophizing was going on in my head like the grill was off on so like <laughs> the house is gonna be on fire and what's gonna happen to the dogs and like am I missing calls from neighbours but they don't have my number like brain's weird and then the same thing I just put the dogs food bowls into wash before I set off um, and I was like did I leave the tap running and what if I left the tap running and then it all overflowed and the house flooded like and you have to just maybe it's just me I'm just like riddled with anxiety and I'm not but my brain just gets a lot of things and like it, it takes every bit of me to like well I'll just turn around and go back and it's like fighting with those inner demons or thoughts telling you to stop telling you to go back and that's part of like doing these long distance stuff like resilience building mental resilience building it's done <laughs> 31 and a half k smashed it and that rounds off a big week of training that's mad that's on the screen oh what a day i'll um i'll get home have a shower and then round up this video and just like that the week is done um it doesn't feel just like that it feels like monday was a lifetime ago and i've looked back over the footage and been editing like monday feels like weeks ago but it's done two hour 45 minute run takes off today it's been a big weekend i hope you've enjoyed watching how um one of my biggest weeks of i am prep has looked um obviously everyone's like bigger weeks are going to look different this is just personally how mine has looked i wouldn't say it's been an easy week you'll have seen obviously a full roller coaster of emotions across this week i've been moody i've been really happy i've been a bit meh i just it's just yeah it's just part and parcel of the process and i think it's important that i show that because it isn't all like smiles and rainbows all the time and it shouldn't be it absolutely shouldn't be you know if it wasn't everyone would be doing it you're you know achieving big goals are going to come with a level of sacrifice and a level of questioning what you're doing every so often because if you didn't then it, you know it's probably not a big enough challenge for you as i said it's important to be open about the highs and lows and you know hopefully from this week yeah you will have seen that i too experience those highs and lows you know i'm not invincible in in that i don't experience them it's important to experience those emotions because then when you cross that finish line it makes it all the better because you know you have worked so hard for for that and it's not just being handed to you even when you know, I have those days where I'm like when I can't be asked or I'm doubting myself. You know, a lot of people would say like, well, why why do you bother? Like, if, if you don't enjoy it, why do you bother? And it's never a case of like, I don't enjoy this. It's just sometimes it can just feel like a lot. When you're pushing your limits, it can, it can feel like a lot. And as I said, it should. But it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the process. But like with anything, like any anything you achieve in life, there's going to be those days where you just can't be asked like anything great is going to come with a downside always going to be you know challenges and i think it's important that there are challenges and days where you sort of question yourself what your choices i washed and dried and straightened my hair for this final clip because as we know just across this whole video um i've looked pretty dire i need my roots doing anyway and then when you do like multiple sessions back to back um and you don't wash your hair in between and your hair's greasy it really does get amplified on this camera but yeah I, I washed and straightened my hair for this occasion I'm going to go and finish editing this video so i can get it up tonight and yeah thank you so much for watching also i've just been watching gaz's high rocks video who's out in stuttgart i'm gonna pick him up from the airport later if you haven't subscribed to his channel make sure you go subscribe to his channel because he is vlogging he's got so many races that he's doing this year and he's been vlogging them all and it's they're really great to watch and i even fe feature in a few so you know, if you don't want to watch him you can watch me over there as well i'm gonna go eat i'm gonna have three eggs five chicken sausages three pieces of toast as like my refuel meal and then i've got these like chicken tenders like battered chicken tenders that i'm gonna have a bit later um yeah today's just gonna be about eating anyway i'm going catch you in the next one which might be portugal might be portugal so anyway see you soon make sure you subscribe like the video comment and i'll see you in the next one